I bring joy and I can taste All those days when people seem to get to you I bring joy and I come here to you I bring life and I can take you where You can see and feel and breathe and touch the air And I will sing in my head because um, I used to sing that with, with me eldest brother when I was a kid. Wow, brilliant. Right, so UFOs now. Uh, so Friday the 11th of April, there was a Mr. Schmidt in the Netherlands and he filmed a UFO, blue in colour, no sound, and it hovered and then disappeared in clouds. Elsie O'Neill on the 15th of April. Wallace in Pembrokeshire at 6.45 a.m. watched a shiny object uh, hover over her house and then split into two, fuse back together and then speed away. Uh, sheep were making a horrible high-pitched sound all the time that the object was in sight and then the sheep fell silent once it got off. The YouTube vid called UFO Huge Mothership over Lima, Peru, 15414. UFO, uh, oh, John Lennon, yeah, John Lennon said uh, he saw a UFO on the 24th of August 1974 with his PA, uh, May Pang, um, and he put a note on an album. Um, he was on his roof uh, of his house when he saw this craft, he said it was so close. Uh, that he could have thrown a stone at it. A couple of other people reported it, um, coasting around, just having a butcher's, you know what I mean? Um, says it was potluck uh, that he's seen it and there was no pun intended. And also, um, he, that he was as straight as a die. Said, yeah. Really good, that one. Uh, Snowden leaks. Here we go. Tor, what is the, the uh, YouTube is called Tor Whites. Um, aliens control USA says uh, Iran and Edward Snowden is saying exactly the same thing now as what Karen Hudes uh, said a few weeks ago uh, she worked at the World Bank and just check it out it's Tor White's rule uh, really, it's Tor White's rule of government anyway um, photos of a UFO scene taken over Bar Bari it's somewhere in Brazil anyway on the 11th of April uh, in mid Wales a young mother took photos above her house of a hovering UFO on the 16th of April and that's on YouTube oh and in the Cosmos news um, 11th of April direct CME 7.1 um, towards the earth oh and there's an earthquake at Yellowstone the, the earth, yeah it's really under major pressure now. Um, um, are they going to evacuate Yellowstone? I don't know. YouTube, shocking truth about alien abductions. That was good. Uh, Wistable, Kent, 10th of April, 9.37 to 9.59pm. Uh, Stephen, yeah, he watched a huge UFO hovering over the, over the swale, about 100 foot above the, the water, it's seen translucent and the air around it seems to ripple. Two small orange lights are close by dancing over the sea. Um, sea salter. Okay. Some. Hmm, some. Big as a UFO, which is. Oh, the UFO, right, it was oval shaped and it suddenly uh, flew over a wind farm. Hmm. 
and the orange lights flew in unison towards a local nature reserve and Faversham. Box Hill, Surrey, 22nd of March, 11.45. Emily was in her mother's uh, car on a quiet private dark road when a really bright multicoloured flashing light came behind the car and the mum drove faster and they felt really uneasy. And it's only when they got onto a more uh, busy road did the light turn green and disappear, just like that. 22nd of March, footage of a triangle was taken over uh, pit meadows above the Solaris building somewhere in America. 28th of March, two diamond-shaped um, craft photographed in Texas. Wilson, Salisbury, uh, 10th of April, 8.45. Jeff was taking his daughter's... Oh, he's talking! He was talking to his daughter in the living room when he noticed a huge craft of sorts hanging in the air. He opened the window and he could hear uh, an engine noise, but he didn't match the, the size of the object, which then had started to go downwards on a tilt. He was no more than 100 yards away, and it was shaped like a box. Manchester Star on the 10th of April, 10.48. Daniel um, was having a cig in his bedroom. Uh, he looks out his window, so what he first saw was a star glowing, it was, uh, and it grew 10 times bigger. It lit up his bedroom, and then it dimmed back to half its size. And then it turned red and blue and shot really fast across the sky, and it wasn't a meteor, and he's an amateur astron astronomer, and he knows what satellites are and what they look like, and it wasn't any of them, and he's proper freaked. Rain and Kent, 9th of April, 12 noon, Ken, Ken Dibel was walking the dog in his local park and he saw a bright flash and it caught his attention and, and then he, was, he saw a big, dull black cube which made me think Borg um, and it hovered and then it rose up and then it accelerated swiftly and then vanished and the whole thing lasted about 25 seconds and uh, there's no sound, just birds and breeze um, and he saw an, an airliner pass and he said the pilot must have seen it as well uh, Stavely, Chesterfield 8th of April 10.58pm Samuel Lissy saw a bright orb from his bedroom window um, he got his phone to take photos but it shot, shot off he didn't get a picture Kent, 9th of April Adam Woodcra Wood Woodcraft 9.10pm watched a bright yellow light move across the whole of the sky at uh, high speed another spot, smaller dimmer light flew with it as well huge UFO sighting over crime scene, that's a YouTube video that was published on the 31st of March this year by End Destination Unknown Billy Meyer, the uh, Palladian beam ships have been photographed at the pyramids in Egypt and more. 15th of April, Georgia Heap was uh, playing tennis with a mum, Joe, in Leamington Spa, Warwickshire. And when they looked up, they saw a black ring in the sky, and it stayed there for about three minutes before it disappeared. Uh, Nick Pope said he believed it to be organic, and it could be someone else said it could be a transformer explosion. Okay. YouTube video breaking news UFO signs Las Vegas. 4 15 uh, 2014. Really clear footage. Um, you could wait for him, you know what I mean? It's so close. Yeah, come on down and have a brew in it. I wonder if they drink tea. And the very last one is um, breaking news UFO sighted. Clear for all oh, that one does say clear footage. 4 16 14. And what I didn't do was get my tune ready. Right, but I have now, so what I'm going to do now is what I do, what I always do at this time of day. I'm going to play, especially for my mate Mike Sexton, my alien sex. Hello, Michael. Hello, baby. Take me to your leader. Funky, funky, yeah It's no conspiracy 
that tune. Right, well, there's not much um, in the way of crop circle news, really, um, apart from th there's a video now of the, um, the three crop circles in the Netherlands, um, which is close to a motorway. And if you want to just Google Robert Vandenbroek, it'll come up. Um, there's a fourth formation now. Uh, again, it is sort of... Hmm, quite plain really not much to it uh, Red, my mate Red Collie out there in Australia he spotted um, a pattern of a, a serpent motif um, passing the control tower at Kuala Lumpur airport and he's still mm, got proper bee in his bonnet about that Chuala uh, crop circle it's a 192 that's in braille in the middle of it that's doing his heading because he wants to work it out, innit? And he's saying that the, the Malaysian flight uh, 370A um, it seems to have been depicted in crop circles over the years. And next week, I promise you, next week, because I've had some stuff that um, I've been meaning to play uh, to do with crop circles. Uh, but, but, and I would have played it, it's just that I can't find it. Couldn't find it at all, so I'll have to go. Out.